Hey, Radiance here. Text is likely the most used component in any app. Today I want to share a solid reusable text component that is very useful in my front-end development work and should save time for you too. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. The text component is just a style paragraph that you can also turn into any other element like div span or hidden by passing the S property. Also, we can modify it in any way we like using the styles property or wrapping with the style function. Because of that flexibility, it serves as a building block for other components. For UI consistency, we reset the full browser CSS at the beginning of the text styling by removing margins and patterns and setting overflow wrap to break word to prevent text overflow from breaking the layout. Then we continue by handling its properties. Let's look into those extra properties that we can pass to the text component. While we can set color through styles or class name, most often we will use the color property. It's a limited set of named colors such as regular, supporting, or alert. We get the color through the getTextColorRecord function that in turn relies on the style component theme. Note that all the names describe the color rather than saying yellow or white. That way we can change the color palette and add new themes without changing the text component. The weight property turns regular, semi-bold and bold into 400, 500 and 600 respectively. It's usually enough for most cases, but you can also extend it for your situation, add thin or extra bold options for example. The size is an interesting and opinionated property. While we pass a pixels as a number, it's being converted to reps. For us, it's easier to think in pixels. We think of 16 pixels as a default size, and to make a smaller variant, it's more intuitive to pass 14 pixels rather than 0.875 RAM. At the same time, we make the app more accessible by converting pixels to RAMs so that users can change the font size in their browser settings and the app will adjust accordingly. The height property represent line height and can be small, regular or large, yet we are rarely going to use it. While some people prefer having variants for text, from my experience, I found it more practical to rely on properties like size and weight to create a variety of text styles. Yet if your project would benefit from having variants, you can add it as a property and then have a record of styles for each variant. Finally, there are centered, cropped and no wrap helpers that are self-explanatory. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.